Good noon, brothers and sisters. Welcome to St. Joseph Church. Reminders, kindly switch off your mobile phones to avoid interaction during the Holy Mass. And when attending the Eucharistic celebration, please wear proper attire. Let us show our respect and reverence to the house of God and to the celebration. Thank you for your cooperation. For today's Mass, let us include to our prayer the following intention. We pray for the souls of Jinky M. Donasco, R.G. Pedong, Justoni Donasco, Marisol Ignacio, Maldo Castillo, Manning Castillo, Lolang Miranda, Basilio Miranda, Bebeng Juan Ason, Portuhada Nonong S. Castillo, Neneng Ignacio, Osita Lanang Edison Miranda, Dodoy Portahada. Porcelo Ando, Porcelo Ando Jr., Benjamin Ando, Felix Ando, Seriaco Ando, Saturnino Indolos, Felisa Indolos, Solpicia Indolos, Carmen Ocho, Bonifacio Ocho, Meliborga Manto, Martina Ando, Genoveva Tampus, Armando Ando, Abeli Ando, Marilu Ando, Leon Leoncia Nodalo, Mary Jane Digal. Ramona Lozano, Prospero Nograles, Roberto Yaneza, Leonor Lozano, Edgardo Lozano, Maureen Colihan, Avelina Gafud, Jose Luna, Gregorio Luna, Lian Cafud, Imelda Luna, Roal Pacheco Pagalangit, Teresita Fuentes, Romy Fuentes, La Divina and Mark Malabo, Luisa and Liliosa Malabo, Isaac and Maria Labawan, Alfonso Malabo Jr. and Sr., Jimmy Lobitania, Lerma Pelare, Fe Cogalito, Emelda Custodio, Sofia Recinto, Reynaldo Cuenca, Gregorio Cuenca, Pedro Cuenca, Macaria Cuenca, Benigno de Ocampo, Lourdes Hidalgo, Belen de Ocampo, Elisa Josme, Catherine Recinto, Avelino Recinto, Nicomedes Cuenca, Rosette Lupac, Yvette Hidalgo, Maki Fabilian, Claude Alain Cabusas, Rafael Adlawan, Anita Adlawan, Virginia Castillo, Eugenia Castillo, Juan, Juana Castillo, Roel Calumpit, Ramiel Bataanon, Rodrigo Cabral, Sel Silvino Villanueva, Genoveva Villanueva, Mercedes Villanueva, Rogelio Yadaw, Manilin Mamawak, Melchor Mamawak, Dionisio Abalos, Pedro Abalos, Pasita Domingo, Emiliano Umali, Gloria Umali, Montano Luzon, Teres Luzon, Maxima Luzon, Vicente Guevara, Rufina Guevara, Cecilio Guevara, Rosario Reyes, Reynaldo Tugua Sr., Giovanni Tugua, Winifreda Tario, Torebia Tordesillas, Marietta Tugua, Jose Tugua, Tugua Sr., Adelia Tugua, Arellano Tosho, Ray Christopher Tugua, Renilyn Joy Tugua. And for the Thanksgiving of Alia Gaile Sarzona, Cheryl Recinto, Maribic Punda, Michael Vincent Barredo and family, Chalen Castillo and family, Brian Morales Diego, 
Jocelyn Villanueva Pardales, Mamasag and Yadaw Family, Ganaban and Family Miranda and Castillo Family, Perlin Liao and Family, Maria Redak, Kapirayan and Family, Sis Virginia Abalos and Family, Raymond Abalos and Family, Emma Est Emma Estole and Family. For the birthdays of Alia Gaile Sarzona, Unicreca and Son, Alexander Bataanon, Remily Bataanon, Jessica C. Miranda, Darren Frances Polves, Heidi Kabatay, Chedita Guzman, and for the special intention of Maria Gina Malabo, Cheryl Recinto, Esther Adlawan Family, Raquel Fentes Family, Mercy Barredo Family, Vinco Stephen and Family, Ruel Spiritu and Family, for healing and fast recovery, Maria Gina Malabo, Joe Chan, Jason Morales Abdul, Peter Carr, Jessica Cheney C. Miranda, Eferita Valdehueza, Ruel Real. Today is Tuesday of the 30th week in Ordinary Time. The parable of the mustard seed should be a source of great encouragement to us, all as we seek to build up the kingdom of God through apostolic works. Planting this small seed is representative of much of our apostolic endeavors. God calls us to do small acts of kindness, share our faith, serve out of love, even when it is unnoticed, and to do so without ceasing. Let us take delight in sowing the seed of faith and see this our mission. Our mass presider is Father Paul Chen S. Vidi. This year we celebrate the year of St. Joseph, patron of the Universal Church, let us all stand and ask the intercession of St. Joseph, our patron, our companion, and guide us migrants. Together we pray. O, o glorious St. Joseph, faithful follower of Jesus Christ, to you do I raise my heart and hands to implore your powerful intercession in obtaining from the kind heart of Jesus all the help and graces necessary for my spiritual and temporal welfare, particularly the grace of a happy death and the special favor I now implore. O glorious Saint Joseph, through the love that you did bear for Jesus Christ and for the glory of his holy name, Dying to hear my prayer and obtain for me my petition. O Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, come to my assistance. Amen. Spirit. Amen. Amen.
times we failed to do so. So for those times, let us call to mind, you know, ask God's forgiveness and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly seen in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, whose providence never fails in its design, keep from us, we humbly beseech you, all that might harm us, and grant all that works for our good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our God, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us all be seated and listen attentively to the Word of God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I consider that sufferings on this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to, to be revealed for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God, for creation was made subject to futility. not at its own court, but because of the, of the one who subjected it, in hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery of, to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now, and not only that, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Holy Spirit, we also groan within ourselves. We will wait for adoption, the, the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we were saved. Now hope that says for itself is not hope. For who hopes for what one sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait with endurance. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Responsorial song. The Lord has done marvels for us. The Lord, the Lord has, has done, done marvels for, for us. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then when mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. The, the Lord, Lord has done, done marvels for us. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We were glad in you. The Lord has done marvels for us. Rest restores our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those that sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. The Lord has done marvels for us. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the need seed to, to, to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done marvels for us. Let us all stand to honor the gospel. <laughs> Blessed 
are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. According to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said, What is the kingdom of God like? To what can I compare it? It is like a mustard seed that a man took and planted in the garden. When it was fully grown, it became a large bush. And the birds of the sky dwell in its branches. Again he said, To what shall I compare the kingdom of God? It is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch of dough was leavened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. In the gospel reading we just heard, Jesus gave two parables. It's all about the kingdom of God. Jesus used two, these two parables to speak about the kingdom of God. Of course, we know the parable of mustard seed. If you know what mustard seed is, it's a very, very small seed. It's, a, it's like a tip of uh, the ballpoint pen. It's very small. But once it's uh, planted in the field, it starts to grow, uh, take root, yeah, make sprout, then grows, and become a big bush, even like a tree. And the birds of air came to take a rest, also make a nest, you know, make a home. And also the second parable is the parable of yeast. Many of us know how to cook, right? Yeah, if you do it baking, the yeast, you must have it. And the yeast is uh, you put a very small amount of the yeast. Then you make a big bunch of dough. It's leavened. And also it's from a very small amount. Then you make the bowl, dough is very big. And all these two parables suggest that you know, there's a small things and can have great effect that are really beyond our expectations. So Jesus says these two parables to speak about the kingdom of God. So kingdom of God is a start small and also itself, so the seeds and yeast, they intrinsically you know, have the ability to grow itself. In the seeds, you, you bury it under the soil, in the soil. You do not see what's going on there, but after a while, you see the new sprout come out. Um, it's uh, out of my curiosity this year, I grew ginger in my office. Not, not, not many, but I only have two flower pots. Each part I have one. Because one day I see Marian bought many ginger there. We eat ginger every day for the meals. I never see a uh, whole ginger grows. So out of my curiosity, I you know, cut a piece of it, I bury it in the soil, in the flower pot, too, but they, they still grow it out, it's making me happy. 
And at the beginning, it takes a long time to see if it's grow or dead. It's about 10 days. I count every day. I look, you know, every day if there's something happening, but nothing. About 10 days, I get uh, suspicious about it, and if it's dead or still growing. You know, I tried to use my uh, pencil to, uh, to dig the soil to see. But then once I touched it, I said, it probably need more time. If I uh, dig it, probably will destroy it. I give it two more days. Then I wait. After two more days, I see a very small, little, very fresh you know, sprout that came out of the, the, the top of the soil. That gave me very, made me very happy. And I think about two weeks for a small, uh, small sprout, you know, come out, you know, above the, the soil. So that, uh, let me see the, you know, sign of a life. So this take about two weeks, you know, for a ginger to grow. But there's a big piece, you know, I, I put in like this, compared to a mustard seed. But this, I think, mustard seed on the uh, small ginger piece, they have uh, the same thing, same ability. In the seeds, It's always grows. So kingdom of God, uh, by its nature, you know, intrinsically has the ability to grow. Sometimes we might disappoint it, but do not be afraid. You know, kingdom of God is grow itself. And also the parable says, a man took the seed, a woman took the yeast. So the man and the woman all included in the kingdom of God. The man and the woman all have the responsibility to be part of it, to participate in this growth. So for us, you know, we look at last Sunday, we just celebrated Mission Sunday. You know, Jesus came to save us. The way Jesus saved us is by establishing his kingdom of God in this world. But Jesus came by himself. He started by himself. Then he called the 12, the small group. You know, after, uh, after his resurrection, before his ascension, he entrusted this his mission to uh, his small community. That's why by that, you know, gradually, we also you know, Jesus, he trusted his mission yeah, to us. You know, he hope, you know, we also participate and carry on his mission to establish the kingdom of God in this world. So for us, you know, we think about Jesus came to establish the kingdom of God. Eventually he died. You know, we don't have to be afraid. We don't have to die. Jesus did it, expect us to die, everyone. But, you know, participate in the kingdom of God is like a mustard seed. It's a small amount of yeast. You don't have to be big. You know, for us, you know, we can 
do, you know, make the kingdom of God spread. We can make the kingdom of God extended. We can make the kingdom of God grow. If we say it's difficult, we can also say it's easy. As small as like a smile. You know, when you see people, you just greet people with a beautiful smile. In the morning, probably some people get up, you know, for no reason, they feel unhappy, they feel like a crappy. Probably you greet greet the person with a beautiful smile, that might light up that person's day. Is that easy? Kingdom of God is like this, like a small mustard seed, small mouth of a yeast, or maybe a word of a comfort, a comforting word. Sometimes people feel sad. Of course, you can see from their facial expression, or the way they walk, or the way they look at you, you can tell it. Maybe only as a word of comforting, uh, comforting, you know, comfortable word to that person can give him and that person a hope and encouragement. Kingdom of God is like this. You don't have to be big, but start small but need our participation. You know, think about us, you know, for uh, this past two years because of the pandemic. Probably many of us, we cannot go home. We want to see our families. You know, we want to participate in our family events, but we cannot go home. Many people in these two years, they feel depressed and feel easily to be irritated, easy to get angry, easily become short-tempered. This is a reality under the pandemic for these two years. You know, for us, we, for encouragement to each other and from each other, this is what we need in this situation. You know, many of us, we are far from home, we cannot go home, but we are in the same situation. We can help each other. Very small gestures can make a big difference. You know, word of comforting, word of hope, word of encouragement, all that it does, the great effect will happen, but only take a very, very small effort from us. So we can do that. Jesus said, kingdom of God is like this. You don't have to die for him, but we can start with the small. And practically every day we can do it. In this way, you know, the kingdom of God can be established. You know, Jesus' mission can be accomplished. So this is the way, you know, we celebrate kingdom of God. This is the way, you know, we participate in kingdom of God and make the kingdom of God happily growing in this world. So as we continue to celebrate this Eucharist, we pray for the grace so that we realize, we are aware, you know, we, the, we ourselves have the intrinsic ability to make the kingdom of God happily around us. So we also pray for the grace, so we also enjoy this participation in the kingdom of God. Also enjoy the fruit of our small actions, small deeds. Amen. Like a great tree with the flourishing branches, or like a seed quietly growing, so the kingdom of God spreads. We make our prayers together as our share in that lovely plant of divine providence. God of life, bring you us. God of life, bring you us. That the church may continue to grow by welcoming and redeeming human cultures and values, we pray. God of life, bring you us. 
that those involved in economic development programs may support farmers and may those who develop the land protect and respect the natural environment. We pray. God of life, renew us. That our families, especially our children, may grow in the ways of grace and mature into Christ-like people. We pray. God of life, renew us. We pray for more vocation to the priesthood and religious life. May young men and women may respond to the call of God to a life of holiness and service. We pray. God of life, renew us. That the sick may be steadfast in their faith and may be strengthened through our care and concern. We pray. God of life, renew us that our indigenous brothers and sisters may be protected of their rights, especially in their rights to acquire their ancestral lands, we pray. God of life, renew us. For the church, for the universal church and the people of God in the Diocese of Hong Kong, that the celebration of this synod may help us to discern God's will and to boldly carry it out, we pray. God of life, renew us. In silence, we pray for our personal intention. We pray. God of life, renew us. Heavenly Father, help us to grasp the importance of the time in which we are living. Home Open our hearts to your word so that we may always bear fruit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us all be seated as we prepare for the offertory. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift it up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, the eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, 
all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as a joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into the Passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give you thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your praises and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and the blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Apostolic Administrator, Stephen, our Bishop-elect, all the clergy, all the religious, and all those who serve you in your church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of a resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him that ye him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of mercy, 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we are with the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace the unity in accordance with your will, who live our reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign for peace. Peace, peace, peace be with you. you. Peace be with you, my sisters and brothers. The Zoom, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the sup of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Governed by your Spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and the blood of your Son, that the prophecy you not just your word or your speech, but also your works and your truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray the mission prayer for 2021, year of Misho Agentes. God, our loving Father, you sent your Son into the world to proclaim the good news of salvation to all, to sinners, the poor, oppressed, the sick, and the abandoned and neglected. He gave his life on the cross for us and rose again to new life to redeem us and reconcile us with you. You sent your Holy Spirit to the apostles to continue the work of your Son and to lead all salvation. We thank you, Father, for bringing us from the darkness into the light. Through your loving plan five years ago, Missionaries came to our land to proclaim the gospel of Jesus, your Son, to our ancestors that made us your people in the church. The gift of faith has accompanied us through both darkness and light, defeats and victories of our history as your people. Our faith has become for us true light that shines in the darkness, renewing us the grace of your Spirit that impels us to be witnesses of Jesus, of Jesus your Son, to a world broken by greed, violence, injustice, sickness, and suffering. May our faith bring us to unity as your children, to care for and love one another. May the Holy Spirit empower us to be proclaimers of the good news to our brothers and sisters in Asia and to all nations. Give us the sincere desire to help others to come to faith in the Lord Jesus to share in your joy and life. May the Blessed Mother, the star of evangelization, accompany us and pray for us as we live and share our faith with others. May our strong love and devotion to her as our Mahal na Ina form us to be true disciples and witnesses of Jesus to all always ready to be sent and to be obedient to whatever Jesus asks for us. We ask this through Christ, your Son lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the Holy Souls. Eternal Father, I offer you the most precious body and blood of your divine Son, Jesus. In union with the Mass said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, for those in my own home and in my family. Amen. Parish announcement. November is the month of all souls. In remembrance of all faithful departed, all Friday Masses in November, are offered collectively for the deceased members of our community. Offering forms and collection boxes are available at the exits and the parish church. 
There will be a memorial mass on Tuesday, November 2 at 8 p.m., which will be offered for the souls. You may bring the photos of departed family members and display them on the altar. This will be a regular memorial mass, which will be held on the first Tuesday of each month. And on behalf of Tuesday, of Tuesday group, we will invite everyone to attend our El Shaddai Fellowship right after the Holy Mass. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Pati sa lower hall po. Amen. Sa live po natin sa and the Zoom, please wait po natin ng 15 minutes po. Maraming pong salamat. God bless us all po.